The full episode is now available on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Please see the link in the description for more details. Um, on the topic of Japan, real quick, since sure. we're on here, we were talking about it privately. You were asking me some Pokemon questions, and it's kind of crazy oh. how we've we've been doing this for so long. We've never had a, a discussion on Pokemon, Pokemon. <sighs> yeah, you you. I mean, so I I. I've played Pokemon Go for a while, so I know all of, all of the Pokemon, but I don't really know the show at all. I don't know Ash or the lore or any of that. But my my uh, my son has been getting into Pokemon because all the kids in his in his class are just obsessed, and so he's been insist he's been insisting on like watching some Pokemon. Um, and so I've seen you know the Pokemon's first movie. And a few episodes of of the early show, I think they call it Indigo or something. The Indigo Plateau. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I seen some of the episodes of this later shows. I think it's called like Journeys with with Go, and um, and so I mean I don't know much else, but you know I the the show I don't know like uh, the episodes are are. Some are hit and miss, I have to say. Some of them are really bad. <laughs> some of them are really fucking Aww. bad. And then some of them are all right. You know, you're mm. like, oh, that's that's a fun little story, you know. What what was the really fun one? There was a fun one where two where an, an electric the, there was this circus and there's this mm. uh there's this guy who's he's only into electric Pokemon and he's he's rivaled with this woman and she's only into fire Pokemon and they both want to evolve their Eevees him to you know his Eevee wants to evol- evolve to a Jolteon and she wants to evolve hers to a Flareon but then they drop their stones and they evolve into the wrong Pokemon so his Pokemon mm. becomes a Flareon and hers becomes a Jolteon and sort of like how they you know, and comedy ensues and or problems ensue. And it's like, okay, fair enough, you know, a fair, fairly interesting tale um, and stuff like that. But then there's ones that are just, I don't know, ridiculous because where they just, it just, the, the, the plot becomes, what does that Pokemon evolve into? And you're like, okay, it's, <laughs> that's, that's it. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> and he, so, from from the questions I wanted to ask. Mm. Okay, so how old are these characters? Like how so, old is Ash? So um unfortunately, and this is something I really hate with a lot of uh with, with Pokemon, is I grew up in the nineties. I'm a nineties kid. Ninety one yeah. is when I was born, and Pokemon was my shit. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digi all that crap, Dragon Ball, all that shit. And I'm sure you know some of those things. And um I love the fact that I was a kid and like I could see myself with Ash and like traveling and stuff. That was awesome. Watching the show, season one, Ash goes off and he does his journey. In the show's lore, when you're 10 years old, you can start your journey and go collecting badges and all that crap. Mm. Um, when Ash comes back around, because of course the journey is like one giant circle. You leave Pallet Town and you go through all the fucking towns and eventually you come back and you fight the 8th gym in Viridian City. And... In the show, the narrator says it's been one year since Ash left on his journey. However, because the Pokemon company realizes that the main audience are fucking kids, Ash needs to be 10 years old forever. However, some fans have come up with a theory as to why that is. It's probably one of the darkest theories ever. I'm surprised you don't... Do you know about this theory? The Ash is no, dead theory? No. I'm surprised because uh, you, you you wrote for Cracked.com and they usually have these. No, 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 no. I I because I, I didn't know anything about it, Pokemon or anything. But yeah, no. Okay, so Ash is dead. So, so wait, he can just ten to, ten forever. Right. Have you seen the first episode of Pokemon? Like the very first episode from the nineties. I I'm not sure. I mean, it might have been on in the background or something while I was preparing my son's Cheerios. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically, Ash leaves his town with the Pikachu, and Pikachu at the time when he first got him, Pikachu did not not like Ash. They did not get along, and eventually they get attacked by some Spiro. And it's raining, and Pikachu uses his thunderbolt and electrifies everything. Ash is fried, the Spiro fried, everybody's fucked up. Um, as the sun set, right as the sun rises, 
after the the uh, the rain, mm. we see a Ho Oh, and in the Pokédex, it is said that I'm trying to find it here. In the Pokédex, it is says that whoever sees Ho Oh will be granted eternal happiness. So the theory is that Ash is either dead and he's continuing on his journey in the afterlife where he never ages and the journey never ends, or he's in a coma and his mind is just living out the journey he's always wanted to, but not really. Um, if it, so, if it's really, if, if I'm really going with like what anime would do, like what Japanese would do, it would be that like, this is all a dream. Ash died of cancer when he was 10. Fucking and this Jesus. is like, and this is like her, 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 his like mother and father's like dream um, would be like, that would be like a Japanese way of having like the show. Like, really? you know, it's, it's like, it's like too, it's like too, like him being a ghost and him being like six cents. That's like way too Western. It would be like, it would be like more, <laughs> you know, melancholy in, 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 in a Japanese sense, but not, neither of those things are fucking true. So it's ridiculous. So, um, because the other characters don't really age either. So like, okay, Misty, Brock, why doesn't why does Brock's eyes always closed? Like, I don't know. Do, this is this is a thing. Uh, so this has always been historically a thing. That's it's beyond Pokemon. For some reason, some anime characters they just have closed eyes. That's actually a thing. I'm gonna get a little weird for a minute here. They're Believe supposed or, to be like super super uh, narrow eyes. Is the idea? I guess. But here's here's the weird thing. I'm getting a little weird for a minute here. Eyes, anime's, anime characters with closed eyes has become such a big thing that some characters just constantly have their eyes closed. I don't know why they're drawn that way. It's become a, such a big thing that it's even like a hentai category. I'm not making that. I'm not making mm. that up. I don't know why. I, I, I don't. I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> okay. And now, 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 Brock. He's also. Does he fall in love with everyone or just the nurse? Uh, every hot chick. Yeah. But never Misty. No. Is is even? I mean, this is the funny thing about anime. All the women look the same, but some are like designated hot, and some are designated not. <laughs> some even are though they all hot fucking look the same. And some are designated your friends. Right, and that makes no sense because they all look the fucking same. So like Brock should be hitting on Misty too, but he's he's just falls in love with every other woman in the entire story. Yes. Um. Does Misty ever get jealous? No. <laughs> okay. Is There's Misty, actually uh-huh. is Misty ever the romantic interest of anyone? Of Ash. Okay. okay. So there's actually a, a believe it or not, there's a plot with Brock. So let me read this to you from from the Poke Week from the Poke Wiki. Hold on, Brock Pokemon, because this is funny. So there's actually um, the Japanese creators, for whatever reason, they thought that Brock might have been racist. So they had to, like, replace him before season two. Season two is the Orange Islands, which I really enjoyed. Um, and, I yeah. Mean, um, it's created by Japanese people. Are you talking about they're thinking about his racist against Japanese people? <laughs> I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I don't know who they thought it was, was racist for. So, a- according to this, it is said that Brock was taken out and replaced with Tracy due to the notion that he would be racially insensitive to Pokemon's growing worldwide audience. When it was revealed that no said notion was the ca- wasn't the case at all, they put him back in for Johto season three. So in uh, season two, Brock meets this really hot professor, Professor Ivy, and um, he s- decides to stay on that island with her. And for the Orange Islands, they recruit Tracy, who's this Anglo-Saxon looking dude, heterosexual white guy. Um, And then when they realize nobody cares about Brock is not racially insensitive, they put him back in. Um, There's a storyline where something happened with Brock and Professor Ivy. Maybe she rejected him. Maybe she turned out to be a lesbian. They briefly make fun of it. Like every time they're like, Brock, what happened with Professor Ivy? He just gets in like a, a sad state. Don't mention that name. And it it's never it's never revealed why. So 
Huh. He, he does get rejected. He does get rejected. It's funny that all the Nurse Joys, all the Officer Jennies look alike. <laughs> As yeah. I just, yeah. It's, it's... So, so why do Misty and Brock disappear from the show? And, and like, because cause then I find out that Ash is kind of like Doctor Who. He gets new companions. Right. So um, Ash just always continues his journey. And then sometimes Brock stays with him for the longest time. Um why does Misty leave? I, I think I think one of the reasons Misty's leave is because she just she just wants to go off and do her own thing. Maybe it's just time for her to go. She comes back in cameo rows for the most, but for the most part, she's just gone. And they introduce like new female characters because you know they want to spice things up a bit. Sometimes yeah. Ash has all the starters, like he had Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, and then for some of the other series, the the cast themselves get each of the starters. So for season. four, for Hoenn, Ash gets Trico, May gets Torchic, and Brock gets Mudkip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, I also want to make this very clear to you. I yeah. have not seen the show in a very long time, sure, but I still, sure, keep up, sure. I still keep up with what's happening. Like, I'm still like, oh, I'll look up on, so on the... So, I was mm-hmm. surprised when they get to uh, to the journeys where, where Go comes in as a character. Right. Um, um, Go... Remarkably androgynous. Yes. Is that is that intentional that they have this sort of androgynous character because they're trying to like reach out to both I I'm thinking that they want to appeal to both little girls and little boys, so they, they're like, let's have a character that could be either. I think so. I, I've also started noticing that anime has been doing this thing where they're they're branching out with their cast. I've noticed there there are more uh black characters in anime and manga. I've also noticed there are more uh overweight characters in anime and manga that mm. they've added to the whole thing. So I guess Pokemon is just doing that as well. Go is a weird one. I, I think Go is supposed to be another side of what you can do with Pokemon. Because Ash is the kid that goes around collecting badges and fighting people. Go is not really interested in that. He's interested in just meeting new Pokemon and being friendly and just... Right. You know. They begin the show and are like, are like, Ash wants to be the best Pokemon trainer in the world and go wants to collect every Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and therefore they're going to go together. I, I, now I also heard that like people are like that fans kind of rejected go because they're like, they're like, wait a minute. Didn't you establish that you have to like fight a Pokemon and weaken them before you can just catch them and go is just throwing balls and catching, catching Pokemon straight off the bat without battling. So. Yeah, I guess Go is like another chosen one. I, I have you, you don't have to. There there are very rare moments where you throw a Pokeball at something and catch it and you're like, oh fuck. But um for the most part, no, it's not really you don't really have to do that. It it even happens in the game. Sometimes you can throw a Pokeball and just catch something without weakening it. But weakening it is right. like preferable. Helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It helps. Did you watch the whole thing? Like did you did your kid finish like all the way through journeys? I mean, he's been watching random episodes here and there. Gotcha. Um, so it's uh, the – I'm trying to think um, any, any other big questions. Oh, I mean, you know, it, 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 it's anime and it's obviously anime for children. So like a lot of the characters have big jumps in their motivations that are just kind of funny, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, like um, you know, you meet Charmander for the first time and he's just like – waiting in the rain for his first pokemon trainer to come back come mm-hmm. back and they go to like the 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 pokemon bar or whatever where the trainer is and he's just like this annoying charmander wouldn't leave me alone so i told him to just like stare where he was and they're like how dare you tell your pokemon to just stay there they're they're bonded to you and and you're like why would why would that guy be such a dick <laughs> like it's just <laughs> there's just no if he, if a charmander is flame f- like go out in the rain he'll die i don't care you know you're like <laughs> or like you know like like i say like the the one where i was talking about the two guys the two evs evolving into the wrong thing mm-hmm. like the, the the like why does the why is the guy super into electric and hates fire pokemon doesn't matter like it's just like fire pokemon is so yesterday i'm only into electric pokemon and you're like eh, why is that <laughs> it just is or like, um, so the the Pokemon movie, right? Let's talk. I want to talk about Mewtwo. Uh huh. <laughs> so, so they they create Mewtwo, right? Okay. And Mewtwo, this hyper intelligent telepathic uh, 
a Pokemon who's like immediately questioning his own existence. He's just like, why was I created? What, what are you doing? And then he immediately like sees Mew and is like, I will be the most powerful Pokemon ever. Artificial Pokemon should be, should be superior to natural Pokemon. And you're like, really that's that's the path of your existential crisis like wondering <laughs> why you're why you were created and finding your place in the world and then deciding that immediately within seconds of being alive that you're going to try to be the most powerful pokemon in the world and you need to destroy mew like it's just like it's just it's not i mean you're like you know it, obviously it's just like ridiculous kids show so like but it's just kind of funny when you're like, what? That's that's really quick. Like, And therefore, you're going to have a Pokemon uh, contest where you invite everybody to the island. But then you're, you're at, even though you invited everyone to the island, you actually only want Ash to come to the island. So you're going to have a big storm. You're like, then why did you invite everybody? It doesn't fucking make any sense. That's not the worst part of that movie. The worst part of that <laughs> movie is where the artificial Pokemon come out and then Ash leads the natural Pokemon to fight them and they're all fighting each other and yeah. the, the, the human characters are like this is wrong this is why the forcing Pokemon to fight each other is wrong bro that's the entire show that's the entire series what are you it, saying it's, it's, it's also I think there's a scene in, where, in which they're all like what two Bulbasaur's what two you know two Jigglypuffs and you're like yeah because their whole species there's like <laughs> millions of each pokemon i don't understand like it is kind of weird that like that everybody calls their pokemon by the name of the animal unless there's like more than one and they need to like give them names like in that eevee episode those eevees had different names mm. but if it were just one eevee in the episode they're just going to call him eevee of course you know <laughs> you know <laughs> 